Diesel engines are the workhorses that power many large vehicles on Pennsylvania highways, waterways, railroads, and construction sites. These engines are strong, efficient, and durable, sometimes lasting decades. But they also create harmful pollution. The exhaust from diesel fuel combustion produces toxic emissions and particulate matter that can be carried deep into our lungs. Air pollution from diesel vehicles can affect everyone, especially children. And exposure to particulates has been linked to an increase in childhood respiratory illnesses. More than half of the nation's school buses are diesel and expose our children to elevated levels of particulate matter and toxic emissions. In fact, their stop and go routines create more toxic pollutants than diesel powered vehicles that make trips over long distances. Today, through the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection, you have an opportunity to reduce school bus emissions in your community and provide your students with a healthier ride. The Wissahickon School District near Philadelphia recently unveiled Pennsylvania's first retrofitted school buses. Through a public-private partnership with 3M Company, DEP, and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, the district obtained grant money to install state-of-the-art pollution control devices on 45 of their school buses. The grant also allowed the district to purchase ultra-low sulfur fuel for their entire 75 bus fleet. We've always been very environmentally minded here at the school district. Always concerned about the health concerns for the students, the idling of buses. Sometimes we get some parental concerns about that. And here was an opportunity for us to clean up our bus fleet uh, with some outside resources. Depending on the age of the buses, the Wissahickon district used either a diesel oxidation catalyst or a particulate filter to reduce emissions. The oxidation catalyst is similar to the catalytic converter on your car and can reduce harmful particulate matter and other gaseous pollutants by at least 20%. The particulate filter is similar to the oxidation catalyst but more complex. It also reduces particulate matter and other gaseous pollutants. However, when combined with the use of ultra-low sulfur fuel, buses with this filter run at least 60% cleaner with no change in performance. Chip, this should be enough wire to run up into the uh, driver's compartment for wiring the monitor. Okay. And also, this is the vacuum line. If we need Joe Malseed is the fleet know. manager for the Wissahickon okay. School District. He was pleased with the installation time and the performance of the buses after installation. Time element-wise, it took approximately three hours per vehicle. Uh, I think that time could probably be shortened uh, through repetition of uh, continuous installations. I drove both the vehicle prior and, and afterwards and personally found no difference in the performance of the vehicle. The Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection is targeting school buses to help improve air quality in our communities, but more importantly to help ensure the health of our children. Children are most vulnerable to the adverse effects of breathing in the pollution that comes from diesel fuel. Uh, children suffer from asthma uh, across the United States, and right now asthma is the leading cause for a child to miss a day of school. So when we can retrofit those buses, when we can clean up the tailpipe emissions, we are making our children healthier. We are ensuring that they can go to school, be alert, participate, and do well. The Department of Environmental Protection also believes this approach is effective since school buses run in fleets and are centrally fueled. And when they are centrally fueled, it's just easier to make sure that we have the right, the clean fuel to go into them. Retrofitting your bus fleet with these filters and similar technologies can give your community an extra measure of pollution reduction. But you don't have to wait for grant money to reduce the pollutants that our children are exposed to. By establishing bus idling guidelines, you can begin to create a healthier school environment today. Start by requiring bus drivers to turn off their engines when they stop at or near the school 
or while waiting for children to board after school. Change the circuitry in the buses so the flashing lights will work with the engine off. And limit the early morning warm-up time to no more than five minutes. Retrofitting your school buses can have a positive impact on our children and our communities across the Commonwealth. Good morning, Department of Environmental Protection. How can I help you? The Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection can provide you with technical assistance and help you to obtain funds. How many buses are in your fleet? I want to make sure that school districts across the Commonwealth understand that they can come to us directly either to compete for some of the funds that we have through our Clean Air Fund that can help finance the retrofitting of school buses or they can work with us and we can help provide them technical assistance so that they can better compete for the federal money that also is available on a competitive basis across the country. I think working together with our federal partners and with our local school districts, we can put together a winning program in Pennsylvania. For more information about retrofitting your bus fleet, visit www.dep.state.pa.us or call the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection Bureau of Air Quality 